Hello, Paul here, and I wanted to take you through Adobe Comp, giving you the ability to make actually InDesign, uh, Photoshop, and Illustrator layouts actually without even needing those apps, because you can all do it from Adobe Comp. And ideally, you would sync it to uh, one of your desktop apps, but you can see right in here, as I launch it, there's a couple different examples. So again, going from creating a web layout to mobile to a print design, you have a mobile layout here as well. And you can select those and get to work and just kind of play around with them. As you can see, I can tap on that. I can extend out that text box. You can see how that looks. But in general, I'm going to start with a new one. So I'm going to add a new comp. Okay, and you can see these different formats we can actually choose from. I'm just going to go with an iPad landscape since that's kind of the mode I'm in right now. And from there, uh, traditionally what you maybe want to do is start playing with it and you'll tap and you'll realize you're moving the canvas. Well, all you need to do is lock it down. So hit that little button on the side and now you can start doing a couple of gestures. In fact, just to show you a few of the gestures right here, you can create boxes, texts, everything you want. So uh, short of it is what I typically do uh, for a layout is I'd want to have a headline. So I'm going to draw a line and then add a period and it adds that headline right there. Now I want to select it but that's the case where you just need to turn that off. Then you can select it. Uh, you can add more to it if you want to, but I just want this to be one line and notice how I can increase the font size just like that, okay? I can do multi-line text too. So let's just press that button, do multiple lines, add a period there, and sure enough, we have that multi-line text right there. Jumping in there, increasing that, maybe decreasing the, the font size, getting this to the way I want it to look. All right, and even over here for an image, I'll just add an X, and that's where I'd put an image. Now, remember, just always turn that off, giving you the ability to uh, select the box. Just turn off gestures. You can jump in, grab some files from your uh, Creative Cloud folder, as I'm doing right now. I'll just take Jesse right here. This happens to be a PSD. I'm dropping it in there uh, where appropriate. So there he is, and I can adjust this accordingly, but I'm really just keeping this simple. I'll move this in a little bit, because even for this text, I can jump in and change it. So you have uh, the fonts that you're used to, but check this out. You can go beyond uh, your typical fonts, and you have Typekit fonts. So you don't have to stick with the fonts that are actually uh, just on your device. So I can jump in here, and say, for instance, I actually like Lust Script. I can add that Lust Script selecting it right there. All right, so there's my gorgeous font. I can change the font size again just to get something really nice and simple. I can add more to it. I can just do some simple gestures such as say one line will give me that sort of horizontal rule right there. Okay, and again I can jump in and select it and manipulate it as well. So opacity, size, color, jumping in, selecting that color. Okay, so I can roughly sample from that photo if I want to. I can pick different themes and even I have some colors in my library. Okay, so that's my Creative Cloud library. I'm keeping this pretty simple, but all in all, notice how you can add text, you can add images, you can go beyond that because right up here, notice how you can add some shapes just like I did with that line. And again, going further from there, you have your different styles, your different images. And lastly, all I want to do is I want to send it to InDesign. So it can be as simple or as complex as you want but at that point, you can send it to uh, your app of choice, whether it's InDesign, Illustrator, or Photoshop, and it will sync to it, and then you can start to work on it further. In fact, here it is. You can see that it has synced to InDesign, and as I jump in, notice how uh, everything is editable exactly as I'd expect it to be. And in fact, since this is using Typekit, I have Typekit on my desktop, but everything is in there, all synced to my desktop, uh, InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop, so I can continue with this design. So check it out for yourself. Adobe Comp, just download it for your iPad, and all you need is your Adobe ID to log in, and you can have all the fun you want. So enjoy.